Shot put is a track event in which the goal is to throw the shot put as far as you can. In this video, we will discuss the physics behind the sport. In order to throw a shot put, it is important that you throw it correctly and don't chuck it. Throwing it like a baseball will result in you injuring yourself. Put the shot put under your chin, wind back, and when you come back up, the momentum you have generated will result in a successful shot put throw. To find horizontal velocity, we use the equation distance over time. Once we plugged everything in, we got 4.2 meters per second. To find vertical velocity, we used the equation vy equals gt. We then plugged in gravity, which is a constant of 9.81 meters per second squared, and our time was 2.03 seconds, and we got the, a vertical velocity of 19.9 meters per second. Acceleration. We did change in velocity over time for us, which was 4.2 meters per second divided by 2.03 seconds. Our acceleration was 2.06 meters per second squared. To find the resultant velocity, we use the equation vx squared plus vy squared, which is equal to v squared. Plugging in our velocities, 4.2 meters per second and 19.9 meters per second. In our equation, we got the, a resultant velocity of 20.33 meters per second. To find the force of weight, we multiplied the mass by gravity. Gravity is a constant of 9.81, and the shot put weighed 4 kilograms. Our force of weight is 39.21 kilograms times meters per second. On the shot put was found using the equation F equals MA. Our mass was 4 kilograms, and our acceleration was 2.06 meters per second squared which when plugged in into the equation gave us force, which was 8.29 newtons. To find the momentum, we used mass times velocity. We multiplied four kilograms by 20.33 meters per second, and our momentum is 81.32 kilograms times meters per second. In plus, we multiplied force by time. We multiplied 8.24 by 7.03 to get 16.72 impulse.